Today, let's build a audience an audience for facebook where you now can speak to people you want to speak to very directed and when you stay until the end you will see and watch how we build out our audience and can follow step by step Today, we want to build an audience, but before we are going into building our audiences and showing you what you can do with audience, if you don't know me and we don't have been introduced formally, my name is Annette with Real Estate Marketing Made Easy. If you have not subscribed to our channel yet, do so down below. So every time we are coming up with a new video, you get the first notification and don't miss anything. But for now, let's jump in and stop out with building our audiences. We are building out in Facebook. We are going into our business manager. So I have to go here. You will see my pretty face right here. But so I hope now you can see it. What I am doing usually, I go to business.facebook.com. That's where my business manager is. Then I go to business settings. And right here in business settings, I find my audiences. And that looks like this is my test account. So that will be open now where I show you what you can do with audience building and the option you are having. So you have different options to create audiences. And here we are, we can build our custom audience. We can take a lookalike audience and we can take a special ad audience. Lookalike audiences is a little bit tricky right now because Facebook changed the rules on lookalike audiences. And if they are, especially with the special ad category, no longer active, they will lock them. And now you, they build for you your own special ad audience and put them directly into your area. So we do no longer have to put in our area within the lookalike. But for custom audiences, this is an audience you can build from people who interacted with you, from people you maybe even have email and phone numbers from, and from different data points. So let's go in right here with our audience. Here are the custom audiences sources where you can build your custom audience. You can build a custom audience from all your website visitors. This requires you to set up a pixel but also now with the new iOS rules, you do have to uh, confirm that you own that domain and Facebook is asking you to put a Facebook code into the domain so that it becomes a verified domain and uh, Facebook is working very, very hard to make it as easy as possible for us with the new iOS changes to have different data points without even using your iPhone or relying on the iPhone's users' uh, pixel code because that is uh, uh, restricted now by Apple. So from our website bill, we can build our website visitors. So we can build an audience from there. We can build the audience back for the past 365 days, but they will only collect the pixel that fired. So when you are building your pixel code today, you only will get the pixel data as of today. And then in a year, you can go back 365 days. So keep that in mind. That's why we are always pushing to set up your pixel data because it is important. And especially when you uh, collect data for over a year, now you have much, much better data points. And when you have pixel firing, like we call it, when somebody is visiting your website, if you have 1000 pixel firing, now you really, really can go down in the nitty gritty and build another audience and then uh, 
advertise to that audience. So now we do have our customer lists and that is very important, especially for all the people. And many of you are in business for many, many years. And now you have probably hundred, if not thousand of email and phone numbers. This customer list now, this audience, you are allowed to upload your CSV sheet into Facebook and Facebook will look all the data they are having. They are looking for phone numbers and for emails that what we would recommend you are uploading and let Facebook match what is within Facebook. That also comes into play when you are especially as a broker or if you are a real estate agent and want to exclude your audience as all the real tools so that other real tools don't click your advertising that's where you are building your customer list and now using them for excluding or including them in your advertising so we don't use the app activity if you are if you have an app, you are able to do it here. So uh, if offline activity, that is more if you have a store, right? So when people come directly into your store and you can give them certain coupons or whatever you want to do. Now, the next one, it's very important. That's where we are collecting all our video viewers. So if you don't have a customer list or you don't have a website, so no worries, you are still able to collect the data if you are willing to do videos. So for the video view campaign, it is important that you are doing videos and within our, your videos, you are now able to segment your video viewers into different audiences and we will jump in a little bit later. You can uh, um, put your Instagram account in here. Everybody who visited your Instagram account, everybody who engaged with your Instagram account. So that is many, many have a, a, a huge following from Instagram. So that is very useful where you now build your audience uh, from your Instagram account. And then we have our lead forms. When you using lead forms, those are the lead forms within Facebook. When you put an advertising out, now you are collecting a lead or attempt to collect the lead. Now you can select that lead form audiences into audience, everybody who opened your lead form, everybody who submitted your lead form, or everybody who looked your lead form. So that is very useful, especially for retargeting when you want to stay in front of people with uh, everybody who has signed up or now you even can retarget everybody who opened your lead form. So you see all the sources, you have different ways to stay in contact with your audience. Events, you can use the events, especially if you're using events. This is used as when you are do, doing open houses, you can put them in an event when you do like advertising your open house as an event. So that is very useful. And then we have our Facebook pages where you now can segment your audiences, everybody who visited your Facebook page, everybody who is engaging with your Facebook page. So now you can build audiences around this. I hope you understand how important those audience building is because now you no longer talk to an unknown audience. All these audiences, except one, and I will tell you a little bit more about it. When you are using the source from website, video, lead form, and Facebook page and Instagram account. Now those lead sources know 
who you are, right? So they saw your videos, they engaged with your Facebook page, they may have op opened or even submitted a lead form. Now those people know already who you are. And when you are using that data, what is locked in here, now you are able to retarget, speak to your audience and get to know you a little bit more, give them more advice, stay in front of them. Because we know even if a lead signs up, it doesn't mean that they will buy or sell with you. So you want to make sure that you are staying in front of them because now they know you and now it is much, much easier for you to have a conversation. When you are uploading costumer lists, so if you uploading a costumer list who you collected yourself, those people know you that will consider an audience that knows you already. So somehow you collected that data. If you purchase a list now, that is a different conversation because if you are purchasing a list or even if you upload a list from your dialer, so like with Mojo, uh, Mojo dialer, you get all the phone numbers and emails. So if you take that information and upload this in your costumer list, now that is a cold audience because those people don't know who you are. So you want to make sure that you also put the right message out in front of the people. So when you are using costumer lists, you are collected yourself and the people know already who you are. Now you can put a different advertising in front. But when you are putting up a list you purchased or you took some from somewhere where people don't know you, that is now considered a cold audience and you need to put a different message in front of them. So that is an overview about the audiences, what you can do. What we are doing here many, many times, we are starting out with videos and putting our videos on our Facebook pages. And for those videos, they have a purpose. The videos allows me to build an audience around those videos. And that is the most affordable way in, st in uh, staying in front of consumer because a good video gives you a video view between two to five, six, seven cent per view. This is still considered a good video. So we are clicking on our video here and now we are clicking next. Now we are able to collect data. Now we, I know exactly what I want to do. So I put out a video onto my channel and now um, that video is up there for a few days or then um, what you can do. Uh, you now go in here and build an audience around that video or around the video content. So, you know, we are going for known, like, and trust. And now you could put out videos that is all about to get to know you. For those video, I would put an audience into place, choose content type. And now I can select about all the video segmentation. Now I can put that videos into a sequence where now I could collect people who viewed at least three seconds of the video, people who watched 10 seconds, people who completed your video, that means watched 15 seconds or more, and Facebook is considering this as a true play. You can now put people who watch 25% of your video, 50%, 75% and 95% of your video. So depending where the video fits in your funnel, remember we talked the past two weeks about building your videos according to the know, like and trust, where we are getting people all up here in the higher funnel. We are dumping them all in and now we are squeezing them 
to get the ones who are interested in your services, right? So now what I would do, I would start with a known video, people who don't know me. So now I get them all in here. So as many people as I can get in here. And now I would build an audience for everybody who watched my videos for three seconds. And here now I am able to choose all the videos from all my channels. So Facebook page, you can use your Instagram business profile from your campaigns or even from your videos ideas. For our known, for our people, we want all as many as possible. Now we, I choose the Facebook page and now I could go to the pages I want uh, who watched all this video. So let's go into, in, let's go to my page. And now I could select all the videos I want to get in my known, right? So now I click all the videos and collect everybody who saw my videos for more than three seconds. So I'm just clicking, right? So now you have to watch. They have several pages. So don't overlook this. If you are starting out, I would recommend now to segment your videos, what videos you have done. Maybe it's a known video, maybe it's a like video, maybe it's a trust video. So put them in your funnel, known is up here, everybody I in. Now we are squeezing them right through here where they are right stuck here. That is our like video, people that liked you. And then we are squeezing the people all through here so that we are only getting the ones we want to talk to who are interested in our service. Did this take some time? So it is not one, two, three days. So uh, keep that in mind, right? So you want to make sure that you are using the videos different for different ideas and for different tools. So let's assume we have all our known videos in here. Now I confirm. Now all these videos start to collect data. We don't know who watched the video, but we know how many people. So I'm looking for a good amount. So let's say 1000 people who watched that video, we could go more and more. It's depending where they are in the funnel. Now, don't forget to uh, uh, label your audience where I now would do video view, VV. I would do three seconds and I would say it's my why, it's my number one video in the funnel. So I know exactly, and you don't have to do it that way, but when you go into your audience building, you want to know exactly on an overview what that audience is about, because you can pull now this audience into your advertising account where you are now advertised to that audience. So you see here on the right now, Facebook is populating, is looking for the people who saw your audience. You also see in here, I have Realtor's phone numbers and Realtor email list, where now I am able to retarget the Realtor's or I exclude Realtor's from a, a campaign I'm running that I don't want to sign up real tools or that I don't want for real tools to, um, to click on my advertising. That's where you now can make the decision how you are using your audience. So you want to make sure around your audience building where they are in the funnel. And now let's say that video, video view three seconds. If I have a lead, and the lead signed up. Now what I can do, I can take that video and retarget everybody who signed up as a lead so that I can stay in front of the consumer. I wouldn't take the why video. So now I would build an audience for a video audience for everybody who signed up as a lead. And let's do that. 
So we build a custom audience. We are now going into lead forms. And now you see anyone one who opened this form, everybody who opened but didn't submit the form, or anybody who opened and submitted the form. So now what I want to do, everybody who opened and submitted the form, now I want here I can use the pages, choose the pages I want to choose. You also have the lead form, whatever. So you click all the lead forms in here. You have run advertising and I can go back 90 days, I believe is the most. Yeah, 90 days. So you have to, you can isolate. Now you can do 90 days, 60 days, 30 days, 10 days. If you have a special advertising, now you can isolate this. So we can go really, really deep with our audience. I choose the 90 days, everybody who signed up on my dominate your local real estate market. I have all the lead forms selected. So everybody who signed up and now I could say um, lead, lead, let's say everyone who is a lead. So, and now you can isolate the lead forms, whatever you do. So what is this Come lead form? So, okay, you could do like a bio. All right, so now I create that audience. And now everybody who is a lead, now you can put a video in front of them. So you give them information, you give them guidance, you educate them so that you are staying in front of that consumer. Even if they have signed up as a lead, you want to stay in front of them. You can do this with video views within Facebook. You can do it, use videos with your email campaign or send them an email. So you want to stay in contact and in front of your leads. And now when you are running in advertising and let's do that quickly so that you can see how easy that is when you are running the lead form. So for this, I'm going back here. Now I go into my ads manager. And I know already I want to run or I want to stay in front of consumer. Everybody who signed up. Let me see what account that. Yeah, that is my test account. Perfect. So I have create. So now I would do a video view, right? Or you could do a reach, either way what you want to do. A reach, you can be more specific how many times your video is in front. So you can choose both ways. Reach, now that we have a custom audience, you could do a reach and say, hey, I want that video shown to every lead every two days two times, right? So now Facebook would put that video in front of that lead two times in two days. So it would be once a day. So that is a strange setup that Facebook has. Or you just do the video, the video view, and now that will be randomly placed. So it doesn't matter for me because I have that audience already. So I will continue. Again, that is the kicker here. You still have to select special housing and still you can exclude everybody. Even if people think you cannot exclude, you still can exclude your audience. So, and I will show you. So now we are in our ad set level where we are now putting our budget into place and where we are now pulling in our audience, our custom audience. And you see here is everyone who is a lead buyer. Now that is my audience and uh, you want a huge, a, a big audience. So like 
hundred uh, thousand. So that's why we are very, very heavy in audience building so that you are not annoying people. And even from those lead buyers now, now we can build a special ad category or a lookalike audience. But for today, I don't want to overwhelm you. So we are going here. Every buyer who signed up now will see the video I want to put in front of them. And here where is where you can exclude your people. You click exclude and now you pull in, you see, real to a phone and real to email list. And I will exclude now the real tools who in the first place shouldn't be here, but sometimes they are. So, but let's say you have built a huge audience and um, you have a video view campaign, real tools watched your videos. Now you want to make sure to exclude real tools when you are not uh, use that audience for retargeting, for hiring, if you are a broker. So there are certain things you can do. And now we are going back in our ad set. And now that's where we have our advertising, right? We choose a video. So we would pull a video from, uh, from our page. I have different options. I can create a new ad. I can use it from an existing post. Now I can select the post in here. And now I can pull all the videos in here, what I want to put in front in, uh, of the people. Or if you want to, you just create that advertising, create the ad, and now you upload your video in here and build out your, um, um, your audience from that video. So um, what I would do, especially when it is retargeting and depending on the message I am giving. Now, I would leave it very plain so that it looks like I am natural in their feed. So I will not uh, put any, any call to action in here. So I would not uh, put learn more or, um, um, let's see, learn more or um, sign up or anything. I want it very, very simple with the video view. If you are running a guide, now that's where you want still people to say, hey, download the guide. Now you could use, even if they signed up already as a lead, you could do it different way. Just let them download it without signing up or depending how you want to go. But now you know why audience building is such an importance where you now can speak very, very easily to an audience you are building. That's why we are saying lead generation, it's actually not that difficult. We put it out there where the juice is in, it's where you are building out your audience, how you speak to your audiences, how to collect your audience. You are using a lookalike audience, special ad audiences. Are you excluding people? Are you including people? So how do you use the videos you are running? So that is where the important is in. That is where Facebook starts working for you when you are now focusing, and you heard me saying this many, many times, really think about the people you want to speak to. That's where it's important about your videos, how you structure your videos. Why are we putting those videos into place? Why do we do certain videos so that we know when when they are ready to move forward in the transaction. I can all dictate this from the audience building with a high possibility to put the right message in front of the people that are ready to move forward or that are ready for our or for your real estate service. So that where the juice is there, where everything, not everything, but that's where you are regulating your audiences, where you building your audiences and where you can stay in front of the audience you are building. So that is Facebook, but 
the same principle apply within different channels. You can do this with PayPal, uh, pay per click. You can do that in with uh, with uh, YouTube. Same principles apply. If I talk to an audience that doesn't know me, hey, I cannot say uh, buy today here, right? So we are warming up the audience. We are looking for certain key features within our audience to find out where they are in the process. So when they are ready, now we are putting the right message in front of them. And that's why it's important to do your videos. Even if you do short videos, like one minute, 90 seconds, they don't need to be always three minutes. Yes, it is better for three minutes, but if three minutes is too long, don't get hang up on the three minutes. Do at least your one minute videos, 90 second videos. That helps you to segment your people and to segment out uh, who is ready for the next move, what message I can put in front of that uh, audience that are watching my videos, 30 seconds, 50% or even 90%. So that is telling me different messages, which I now can use to my advantage to build the audiences and put the right message in front of those audiences. And that's why we are always saying you have to build up your audience in business manager because business manager gives you the tools. So when you are uh, want to use Facebook with your website or even with a landing pages, make sure that your uh, domain is verified because that will stop. Facebook will stop when you are not verifying your domain. So to collecting that data uh, with uh, iOS changes, it is restricted only to eight events. It doesn't mean, but we will see a lot of disruption especially from people who are having iPhones and iPads or using Apple, they are now able to say, no, I don't want to submit my information as an iPhone user. So we have to see how that plays out. But Facebook is already under works, uh, especially to build something so that we can not violate or go around, but find a way that we even can use different touch points uh, with Facebook and iPhone or iPad or iOS users. So that is in the work, but still, especially with the video view, that's where you can go around. When they watch their, your, your video, they watch your video. So there, it's no way around that. Yes, they can restrict if they want to see an advertising, but still I can collect the data and that it's the beauty of it. So I really hope you understand how important it is for you to build your audiences because now you speak most of the time to people who know you and now you put them through the funnel for no like and trust you. If you have uh, enjoyed this video, so make sure you subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss other videos when they are coming here new every week. And also you will see videos above or below me. I don't know which videos Facebook will change, but click them and show them and watch them. So you will get more content here, how to run your real estate marketing made easy.